I'm Dr. Shalini, Senior Consultant Gynecologist and Infertility Specialist at Ishwarya Fertility Center, Bangalore. Today I'll be talking about IUI, intrauterine insemination. So intrauterine insemination is a kind of a simple procedure, a simple treatment for infertility. So in IUI, the sample is processed which converts the male ejaculated sample to highly concentrated, motile and good quality sperms are separated and put inside the female womb. Once the sample is placed inside the female womb, the sperm enters the fallopian tube and tries to fertilize the egg which is already present in the tube after ovulation. So this may lead to pregnancy in the current cycle. For whom all the IUI is advisable? So the most common would be the mild male factors. So what is mild male factors? So for mild male factors, the, the male semen parameters like count, modality or the good quality sperms which are slightly lower than the normal reference value which is provided by the WHO. Second would be an ovulatory cycle. So the females like PCOD where the hormonal imbalance exists, the females are provided with some medicines to, for the formation of the eggs and once the ovulation is evident in the scan, IUI is performed. Third would be a condition where the male doesn't have sperm at all in the ejaculate. So in that case, donor sperm is advisable which is already frozen. So the sample is thawed that is put back to the normal temperature and placed inside the female womb. Fourth is unexplained infertility. So a condition where the male and female factors are absolutely normal and there is no problem at all. So in such condition also, if IUI is done, the chances of pregnancy is increased to a level. Fifth, there is a condition where the male or the female partners, due to personal or professional reason, they are not staying together. So in that case, the male partner is advised to freeze uh, two to three samples and the same sample is used at the time of uh, ovulation in the female cycle. So now IUI, is it safe? Yes, it is absolutely safe because it is very simple, cost effective, without any complications. But in some cases, like where the ovulation uh, forming medicines are used, there the chances of multiple pregnancy could be expected. So is IUI advisable in all the conditions or there are some conditions where it should not be advisable? Yes, there is a condition where both the fallopian tubes meaning the tube which connects the uh, female uh, which, which is a channel for male and sperm fertilization are blocked. So in case both the tubes are blocked, it is not advisable. So how do we proceed in IUI? So in IUI, whenever the uh, clinician decides for an IUI for a couple, the female is expected to see the, uh, the clinician at the OPD on second or third day of the period where a basic level scan is done to rule out any kind of cyst. So once the cyst is ruled out, the females are provided with egg forming medicines. So sometimes the natural cycle ovulation also can be done where there is no ovulatory uh, dysfunction. So once after a couple of scans, the ovulation is evident. So uh, we ask the male partner to provide the males, uh, the ejaculate sample. The male is asked to pass urine. The sample is supposed to be collected in the sterile container and if at all any spillage, it has to be notified. So once the male partner collects the sample, the processing per se starts. Uh, the sample is kept to liquefy for 30 to 45 minutes. So once the sample liquefies, it is pre-assessed. The parameters are assessed, the count, modality and the good quality sperms. If at all any dead sperms is there, any WBC is there or, or any debris is there. So post-processing, we are supposed to increase the motile number of sperms uh, increase the number of sperms and more highly concentrated motile sperms. Once the processing is done, the female is asked to empty the bladder, undress herself and lie down on the examination table with the folded legs. Once she is in position, the external part is clean and a sterile speculum is put in her vagina so that the uterus opening which is the cervix could be seen. Once the cervix opening is seen, the processed sample is gently placed inside the female womb so that it could the sperm could just enter the uh, tube and fertilize the uh, existing egg in the tubes. 
So post that the female is asked to take rest for 5 to 10 minutes and after that she can resume her day to day activities. There is no bed rest required or there is no restriction from any activity. She can be as normal as she was before. Sometimes the progesterone support in form of oral or vaginal is given. So the success rate of high UI is 10 to 15 percent. So in case of failure in the one cycle, the female may opt for 3 to 4 cycles of uh, IUI where the cumulative success rate would be 30 to 35 percent. So IUI has definitely helped the couple uh, minor male uh, risk factors and increases the likelihood of pregnancy uh, in the uh, couples who are trying for pregnancy for long. Thank you.